Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to take a look at the dumbbell floor pullover. You can also do this on a bench, which will increase the range of motion on the pullover. However, if you do not have a bench or a stability ball to use, uh, we can also do this on the floor. And I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it. So the first one is we're gonna take the weight and we're gonna put it over our face, feet on the floor flat and close to our bum for stability, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna drop our arms up and over our head and then pull it directly over our face and chest, slow and controlled. Now you can hold the weight here sideways as I am, or you can hold it this way, but obviously it'll touch and it will give you kind of a little bit of restriction if you're nervous about going all the way back to the floor. So it gives you, you know, a shorter range of motion until you build up some strength and then you can go ahead and increase the range of motion. Another variation that we could do on this is if we, you know, are ready to add some load. So this is eight pounds and maybe, you know, it's too light. So we can go with both, holding one dumbbell in each hand, squeezing them together. So this is gonna get our back, it's gonna get our mid back, our core is tight in order to stabilize this entire movement. And it's gonna get some chest and triceps, especially if you start bending the elbows and extending them a little bit, you're gonna feel it in the back of the arms. However, your head is supported by the floor. Uh, try to relax your jaw and face, just not, not clenching your face when you're doing this exercise. And it shouldn't be any straining, it should be challenging, especially the last three to five reps. However, it shouldn't be a grind, like you shouldn't be like trying to get them up over your face. It's a challenge, but not a grind. And so this is the dumbbell pullovers uh, on the floor, dumbbell pullover floor press.